What's up guys? So now in this tutorial I'm just going to show you give you a little intro to what's called for two things called variables. If you don't know what variables are, basically what va variables are in your program is blocks of computer memory that we create to store specific values. So say if we have a number and we want to save this number into a variable and then we can use this variable i.e. this number throughout our program so I'm gonna just give you a little example of, vari of variables now in this, pro in, this, in this tutorial it's a very important thing to grasp you'll be using variables a lot but again once you Put your head to it, you'll pick it up no matter. So basically, there's different types of variables. Say I wanted to store an integer, an integer is a whole number, like the number 9. Say I wanted to store the number 9 into a variable because I wanted to use it in my program for whatever reason. Well, I'll have to store that in an integer type variable. Like an integer type variable will only store, can only store integers. A character type variable can only store characters, basically. So for an integer, the data type, which is the in an integer, like the data type will be like if it's an integer or a, or a decimal number or whatever. So the data type integer will be int, int for short, int is short for integer. So basically whenever you're making a variable you declare the data type so you tell the computer the data type, in this case an integer which is int in programming language, int for the, the data type and then you give, it a you give it a name, any name you want but the name, there's a few rules for the name basically the name can't start with a number um, it has to start with a letter like and also you can't have any spaces, like, it can't be like num space 1 it would have to be num 1, all in one word, you know what I mean? so I'm gonna call this variable num and if you put a similar column in that that's finished that's I've now created a variable an integer variable and it's called num All right? so I can keep tracking them and you can create as many variables as you want and then int num2 similar column int num3 as much as I want um, I only want the one, I'm just going to show you one now another type of variable because we're not only going to be using integers say you want to store a decimal number you know like 2.3 or whatever a, dec a, a number with a decimal point well the older one would have been float because there's two ways of doing this there's, I'll show you the first one now this one wouldn't really be used that much now but float which basically you know like the decimal point floats around the number so that's what that's what it's called float and I'll call this decimal so semicolon I've now created a float variable which can store decimal numbers and I've I've named it decimal just because I felt like naming it decimal. I can name it Bob if I want. And again, I can make as many of these as I want. As long as I, as long as I don't give anything the same name, I can make as much as I want. Alright. That's for decimals. But the one you're going to be using mostly for decimals is this here double. And double is the same, this one here, this data type double is the same as float, except it has like double precision, whereas it's not like 
there's like there's like a limit like integer here there's a limit of the amount of numbers it can hold like you know what I mean whenever you get into like the billions and billions and billions like it, there's a limit to the size of the number but the number the highest number it can store is so high you don't really have to worry about it and it's the same kind of concept here double can just hold double as high a number as the float so you'd use double you would use int when you're working with integers and you would use double when you're working with decimals and so I'm going to call this one decimal so double decimal again you can have as much as much double variables as you want different names of course okay and the last one you're going to need to know for a moment the car data type and what the car data type it's a or it's, this is creating a variable which can store characters you know like h or the star or you know the pound sign or s or d or you know forward slash just it can hold but all it can do is just hold a single character the car variable can only hold a single character okay so I'm just gonna call this C so character I'm gonna call it character character and same again you can uh, just make it more just to be safe huh? again you can name it whatever you want you can name your variables whatever you want like I said Bob whatever you want so your character variable then your semicolon and now I have created an integer variable called num a float variable called Bob a double variable called decimal and a car variable called character and now we have this is for one two three four four blocks of memory that I can store values in and of course you need to have the specific data type for each variable whether it's an integer a decimal number or a single character okay so I'm gonna just get rid of this float because we won't be using it really we're just gonna be using these three so just worry about these three here int double and car so let's give these a value and how you give them a value is you call your variable name so in this case it's num and you use what's called the assignment operator which is just the equal equal sign to assign the variable with a value um, and then you just give it a value I want to give it 45 and then semicolon just going to make sure that this is a integer like this it's a whole number for it to work with an int variable otherwise this this program won't work like if I said 45.0 this program will not work because it will be trying to assign a, a decimal value for an integer variable and that that breaks the rules and the program will not work so just make sure you don't do that and you need to be a whole number when you're working with the whole number variable I will assign the double variable decimal with a value and um, so again get the name decimal decimal you use the assignment operator and you assign it a value so you can assign it 56.76 so that's a decimal number and that will work because this is a double data type so this here we can we can um, store decimal numbers in this variable because it's a double again don't forget the semicolon and then for character so we have car vector assignment operator again and in here we can store a single character let's store y the y character in your semicolon so that's storing the y character 
into this variable so y the value y this character into this variable there is just one little thing you got to remember when you're working with the car variable you see when you're assigning it like this you just got to put the value in single quotes so you just put y in single quotes all right that's just a programming thing you got you got to do otherwise the program will not recognize it but just remember to put it in single quotes when you're working with the like a character like a character variable put it in single quotes when it's a number variable like an integer or a decimal number don't worry about the quotes numbers are no bother right so that's your intro to variables in the next tutorial I'm gonna give you another tutorial about variables and showing you how to use them and things like that so just get them in learn the variables anyway first <laughs>